Hey YouTube, Jibo Unit here after a long absence. Um, I was in the middle of moving, so I haven't had a real good chance to get at my computer, and I still don't because I don't have it hooked up. There's some issue with the Wi-Fi around here, and that's something I'll have to deal with later. However, um, I did discover that I can do videos through my iPhone, and I can do... A, in a sense, stop start. Um, but actually, I can take a bunch of separate videos and then link them all together. So I'm actually going to try that out. So this is the first video that I'm going to make. Um, let me show you. Um, well, you'll see that I was moving. So there's my computer that's not really set up, but it, the iTunes is set up. So I'm listening to Evanescence. But. Um, I got boxes all over the place still. Oh, there's Nelson. So I pretty much downsized, um, but you know I'm much closer to work. I now commute um, 50 miles instead of 134 miles. So that's that's always a good thing. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and see if I can link up another one. Okay, bye. Okay, this picture of the target is uh, of me firing the 45 ACP, and I obviously went after the bottom left and the top right dot. Okay, there, you'll notice on the um, bullseye there are four dots in each corner, or a dot in each corner, and uh, I did not go after the center, I went after the dot in the corresponding corner. Uh, you'll see that I didn't really hit the dot. Uh, at all, but I did get good groupings, uh, so um, it could be off because of me, because you know I, I shot these right-handed, and I could have been pulling the trigger, trigger, which made my shots go kind of to the right. Um, but I think it is shooting a little bit low. So anyway, um, that's my uh, first two um, target placements on the Rock Island. Hello YouTube, Jeepo Unit here again, and I am taking video of this because I want to let you know that I took my Rock Island Armory GI Model 1911 out for a shoot, for a run. Um, not only did I bring that one out for a run, but I also took my Sig Pro <clears throat> SP2340 and 40 caliber out. So. Here they are side by side. Just wanted to show them off. Um, so here's a Sig Pro again. Uh, both guns are a teeny bit dirty here because I, I did take them out to the range. Um, this Rock Island with the Ho grips so much better. So much better looking. It, it looks like a totally different gun altogether. So uh, and they're very comfortable. I love the way this feels. Um, and of course I didn't have to do anything with the Sig Pro. Uh, I like the grips the way they were. So again, this is a polymer frame, much lighter gun, 40 caliber. This is the all steel frame in uh, you know 45 ACP, the 1911. So uh, those are the two pistols I took out. Okay, in this target I did go for the center red dot and you can see that my shots are a little low. They seem to be in the center, but they're a little low. I could have swore that, you know, it would be in the bottom right quadrant, but it looks like it's kind of even in the bottom. So I know there's something wrong with my with my trigger pull because in the in subsequent targets, I'm shooting to the right and low. So anyway, um, I do like the grouping of this. It's it's not too bad. I mean, I, again, I'm not a World Cup shooter or anything but I do like this grouping okay I just want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of both of my semi-autos here okay at the top is the Rock Island Armory 45 ACP at the bottom is the Sig Pro SP 2340 and 40 caliber obviously so anyway I'll do a close-up of that and that's with the Hogue grips it looks much different now with the hoe grips than it did with the wooden grips. I mean, like I said before, my introductory video of the Rock Island, I much prefer the black hoe grips over the wood wood paneled 
smooth grips. I, I'm sorry. The smooth grips make it look like a toy. I mean, it's awful. Um, here's a Sig Pro. You guys have seen it in my previous videos. I'm bringing it out again for a good look. And, uh, you know, the, the recoil was a little heavier with the 45, of course. But, uh, I mean, the, the pistol did not jump around at all. As a matter of fact, I felt like I had better control with this. It's a much heavier gun because this frame is all steel. Uh, and, of course, this has got a polymer frame. So, um, I've got regular sized hands, I guess. Maybe smallish. Um, but I'll just show you how it looks in hand. very comfortable grip very very comfortable with this hoe grip on here and um, yes I did practice left-handed as well as right-handed it felt great okay um, so that's how it looks in hand now let me go ahead and get the SIG Pro so it doesn't seem too much of a difference I, I mean I like the grip uh, it feels good in the hand, and it fires well. And um, you know, I put a, a couple hundred rounds in each gun today, so I did a lot of shooting. And uh, you know, it I I like it. My hand's not worn out, um, and it, it's just I I love the guns, you know. And uh, and I am in the market for a nine millimeter, so I have been looking at Glock 17s and 19s, and now the the uh, Springfield Armory XDs are creeping in my, you know, in my sights. So I still may end up with the Glocks, but, you know, I just wanted to make sure I look around so I don't regret anything. So that's it on that. Okay, in this target, I went for center again. I taped up the holes uh, from the first shots, and uh, you can see that I really went to the right this time. Uh, I was shooting a little more rapidly. So I think that as I, you know, I'm right-handed, as I pulled the trigger, I was pulling the gun and and I'm sure I was anticipating the kick of the gun and the recoil. So hence all my shots are going to the right. However, you can see that um, anything outside the seven ring ignored that because that was me going after the corner dots. But everything was within... Uh, the seven ring and you know it's it's a pretty good grouping a pretty good diameter so uh, again I'm not shooting for points I'm not in any competition but uh, if, as long as I can hit a group in center mass that's all I need to know okay so there's this target okay and this target I taped up the holes again and I went ahead and fired I tried to adjust my sighting by moving it slightly to the left and still pointing a little high. So my aim was not actually the red dot, but was in the upper left quadrant. So, and this is the result. So um, if I put my gun in a vise or a stand, it probably would shoot straight, but maybe a little low. I, I don't know. It, it, it It's probably true. I mean... I don't have the steadiest grip or anything. I'm very sure that I was anticipating kick. So I probably was pulling the gun down, which makes me shoot low. And when I'm pulling the trigger, I'm pulling the gun right. So that's probably where my, you know, where my aim is going. So anyway, even with the adjustment, I've got a pretty good grouping. I mean, it's, it's, you know, all around the red dot, and it looks good. I mean, for me, it looks good. So, and then again, you know, this is my first time shooting the 45. I had not shot a 1911 since my days in the military, and that was years and years ago. So, I did, I did fire a Springfield XD in 45 caliber, and that was very sweet. Um, it it feels very different from the 1911. I like both. Um, but boy, I, it's something to go back to a 1911. Love it. Okay, so this is my first shot at trying to link different videos together. Uh, I'll talk about how I did that if I do this successfully. So anyway, hey Nelson. Nelson! You're supposed to just look, not move. Bad dog! What a bad dog!
Ah, he's a good dog. I just use bad dog as a term of endearment. So he's checking out my guns. All right. Well, anyway, hope that that was informative and not so boring. I'm sorry I haven't put a video up in so long. Uh, I've just been moving and everything, and it's I'm going to be unpacking forever. This is ridiculous. So anyway, um, enjoy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.